Here we are discussing about the intermediate tumors which are also called as the borderline neoplasms. These are two under this category. One is the Kaposi sarcoma and second one is the hemangioendothelioma. But the topic of discussion for today is the Kaposi sarcoma. So we will see first the definition of the Kaposi sarcoma over here. So what is the definition of Kaposi sarcoma? The Kaposi sarcoma is a benign or malignant even though it comes under an intermediate or the borderline neoplasm it is the malignant tumor. So first we need to mention it is the malignant neoplasm right it is the malignant neoplasm and the malignant neoplasm arising from endothelial cells endothelial cells or primitive mesenchymal cells endothelial cells or primitive mesenchymal cells endothelial cells or primitive mesenchymal cells associated with human herpes virus type 8 this is the important mcq point associated with h h v 8 this is what most often you will see in the exam kaposi sarcoma is associated with human herpes virus type 8 so we are discussing this kaposi sarcoma under vascular neoplasm which means it is an angioproliferative disease so we also have to write over here that it is angio proliferative disease that is the reason we are discussing this under the vascular neoplasm it is an angioproliferative disease characterized by an excessive proliferation of what type of cells spindle cells so angioproliferative disease with excessive proliferation of excessive proliferation of what type of cells spindle cells that is the reason histologically you will see majority of spindle cells it is the angioproliferative disease with excessive proliferation of spindle cells which have features of both smooth muscle cells as well as endothelial cells that is the reason between it comes between the endothelial cells and the smooth muscle cells we often describe as spindle cells right now so it is a multicentric vascular tumor we already know that it is caused by human herpes virus 8 and also called as Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus so it is also called as K S H V Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus so often we describe with such kind of a name and generally whenever we discuss about Kaposi sarcoma examination point of view they will ask you that how it is associated with AIDS remember that whenever we discuss about AIDS two important neoplasm we need to remember it should come to your mind immediately what is the most common neoplasm associated with AIDS and what is the second most common neoplasm associated with AIDS remember that the most common neoplasm associated with AIDS is the non Hodgkin's lymphoma so let me write it in a separate box here because this is a very important MCQ for you to remember what is the most common neoplasm associated with AIDS it is the non Hodgkin's lymphoma MCQ question most common neoplasm associated with AIDS is the non Hodgkin's lymphoma and I, I can also call it as first or most common what is the second most common neoplasm associated with AIDS what is the neoplasm or we can say second most common malignancy or neoplasm associated with AIDS it is the Kaposi sarcoma this is what you need to remember for your exam 
so till now whatever we discussed over here 90 percent of the cases this is what they'll ask you in the exam what is the virus which is associated with kaposi sarcoma human herpes virus 8 it is the second most common malignancy associated with aids which is kaposi sarcoma but the most common is the non hodgkins lymphoma right now so when we discuss about gross features so based on the gross features it exists in three stages when we discuss about the morphology of the kaposi sarcoma what are the three stages we need to see first the first one is called as the batch stage I can also call it as first stage the first stage is called as patch stage the second stage is called as plaque plaque stage is called as second stage first stage is called as patch second stage is called as plaque and the severe stage terminal stage final stage is called as nodular stage nodular stage which is the third stage so according to the gross picture according to the morphology of the kaposi sarcoma it has been divided into three stages patch plaque nodular which is the terminal stage this is how we describe macroscopically that is grossly and when we describe the microscopic characteristic of especially the nodular stage why i am discussing mainly the nodular stage because it is the final stage terminal stage and the most aggressive form so when we often describe the microscopic characteristic feature of the nodular stage it shows sheets of plump proliferating spindle cells and endothelial in the dermis or in the subcutaneous tissue this is the picture what you are seeing about the nodular stage of the kaposi sarcoma right now in general i already described about uh, what are the important mcqs we will see in the exam but let us discuss some more mcq points related to kaposi sarcoma about site what is the most common site for kaposi sarcoma here my language is very very important you have to focus on the language rather than the topic if i explain if i describe what is the most common site of kaposi sarcoma you have to say skin of feet sometimes they'll also give you in the exam about lower limbs lower limbs means thigh leg feet all these comes under the lower limbs specifically if they ask in the exam you have to say skin of the feet so what is the most common site of kaposi sarcoma what is the most common site of kaposi sarcoma your answer should be skin of feet or i can call it as lower limb mcq point what is the most common site for kaposi sarcoma that is skin of feet or we can say lower limbs are the most common sites for kaposi sarcoma okay we know that skin is the most common site in general but examiner will try to confuse you with the wordings he often ask you about what is the most common extra cutaneous site of the kaposi sarcoma cutaneous is the most common site what is the extra cutaneous site of the kaposi sarcoma then your answer should be lymph nodes so what is the most common extra cutaneous site of kaposi sarcoma what is the most common extra cutaneous site of the kaposi sarcoma then your answer should be lymph node right very important mcq points what is the most common site skin of feet that is lower limb what is the most common extra cutaneous site lymph nodes now what is the most common site of gastrointestinal tract is the another mcq point recently we can see in the recent examination what is the most common site of gastrointestinal tract in kaposi sarcoma so 
most common site of GIT related to Kaposi sarcoma. What is the most common site of gastrointestinal tract in Kaposi sarcoma is the duodenum. Generally, sometimes they will ask you in the exam about small intestine. Yes, it is also correct because duodenum is a part of the small intestine, right? Yes. So, the most common site of GIT in the Kaposi sarcoma is the duodenum or we can say small intestine. All these are the important MCQ points what they will ask you about the Kaposi sarcoma. So, here we concluded about the introductory part of the Kaposi sarcoma.